What's going on gamers? Today we'll be going over how to change your Minecraft server seed. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our tutorial videos. When a new Minecraft world starts, one of the most exciting parts is the mystery of the seed. The seed is what creates the world that you'll be living in. Huge biomes, villages, and caves may surround you, and they can be really fun to explore. However, some players prefer to have a specific world. This is where the world seed comes into play. The seed is a random string of numbers that will determine how the world generates. Seeds apply the same to a world created on a server as they do in single player. If you own a server, you might want to generate a world using a custom seed from an online source or from your solo world. This is very easy, and we will be walking through how to find and change your Minecraft server seed. To find your local seed, you'll first need to open Minecraft. Then, you'll head to your single player tab and join your world. Once you're connected, pull up your chat and type slash seed into the chat and press enter. The console will come back with your seed ID. Click on it, and it'll copy to your clipboard. To find your server seed, head into your browser and pull up your Apex panel. Once there, click on console. Type seed into the console and press enter. Note that this is different from slash seed. The console should output a message with the seed ID. To change your server seed, go to the Apex control panel and click on the red stop to stop your server. On the left hand side, click on config files, then Click Server Settings. Scroll down to locate the level seed and fill in the blank with the seed that you have chosen for your world. Scroll down to Save, and a pop-up will ask if you want to create a new world or use the existing. Choose Create a New World, and then Restart Now. Once that's done, you can start the server back up. You can check if the correct seed loaded by typing Seed into the server console. You can also check in-game by typing slash seed in your Apex server. Now I'll go over some common issues. The first, builds from my previous world aren't showing up. Something to note, the seed affects only the world generation and default structures. It does not save anything man-made. This means that anything that you built from your old seed will not follow to the new one. The second common issue, the seed did not change after I restarted the server. If your seed did not change, it's likely the world was not reset correctly. Ensure that you stop the server, change the world field, and start it back up. Also, make sure that the seed is set in the server settings. The most important thing to remember is to save. If you don't, no settings will be changed and the seed may revert back to blank. Well, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and thank you for using our servers. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.